Am I quitting YouTube? Let's chat. Hey all, Keith here. Welcome to the video. It seems like the month of January has been the month of famous YouTubers quitting, right? Watching their videos really made me stop and think about my journey here on YouTube. I watched as they spouted off different reasons for quitting. Mostly, they're burnt out. They can't do it anymore. And you know what? I totally understand where they're coming from. Take me, for example. I don't think people really understand out there in YouTube land how long it takes me to get one of these videos up on the platform. First, I have to write the script. Then I have to shoot the video. Then I have to edit the video. Then I have to upload it to YouTube, then I have to get the thumbnail and the title banging, and that whole process can literally take between 5 and 10 hours depending on if I already have a video shot or if I have to shoot the video the day of my upload. And another thing people don't think about is the cost of doing YouTube. For me, it's investing in equipment for YouTube. It's paying for things like travel to our favorite destinations like Gatlinburg, Pigeon Forge, and the Disney parks. I mean, that alone is a huge expense to me. And trust me, YouTube does not pay me enough to make up for those expenses. And another thing that's really an issue for me is like the niche problem. Everyone's always saying niche down, niche down, do this, find your niche, right? Well, I'm gonna tell you a little secret about YouTube that no one else is gonna tell you. If you wanna make it as a destination niche creator, kinda like the things that I do, for example, going to the Disney parks or our trips to Gatlinburg or Pigeon Forge, you really need to live next to these areas because of volume of content and having the ability to be at openings for attractions and events for your destination really matters. In fact, with any niche you choose on YouTube, volume matters. Way more than even the camera that you're shooting the video on does. If you're not providing a volume of useful and informative content about whatever your niche is, people will simply not subscribe or return to your channel and that's the brutal truth. And spoiler, I don't live next to Gatlinburg, Pigeon Forge, or any of the Disney parks. So, my niche has definitely caused me stress over the years. Also consider this, I upload one video a week every Wednesday. I have not missed a Wednesday since I started in September 2017. So that's me getting videos out, not being home, when I'm sick, when I'm just like not motivated or feeling it, or with any number of life events that's happened to me over the last six years. And trust me, I've had a lot going on over those six years. But in those six years, I've uploaded 560 videos to this channel. Just to this channel. That doesn't even include my second channel. Now think about this. Sitcoms today release between 10 to 16 episodes per season. That means after six seasons, they'll have created 96 videos for you to watch. Lonely me, sitting here at my desk, or out in the field, have scripted, edited, shot, and uploaded 560 videos. Think about it, it's almost six times the number of videos that a highly staffed sitcom produces over the same time frame. Honestly, I should be the poster child for YouTube burnout at this point. The funny thing is, I'm not. And let me tell you why. For the most part, I've actually kept my work life separate from my YouTube life. Yes, I have a regular 9 to 5 that pays my bills and provides me medical insurance, which my people in the U.S. know how important that is, especially with a family. But that separation has really enabled me to keep pushing these videos out for you and keep being creative. Without the stress of going bankrupt because one of my videos didn't get enough views that week. <laughs> and honestly, I feel like that has been the key to keeping me going on YouTube. Would I enjoy it if YouTube was my full time job? Honestly, I don't know. I would love to be a huge creator and be my own boss. Realistically though, I'm happy with the channel I've built. Look, I never even thought we'd break 10,000 subscribers on this channel, but here we are in 2024 at 23,000 subscribers. And that is awesome. I love that I have complete creative control and like the money side doesn't really affect the content that I put out for you guys. I love that my brother and his family can pop on this channel with some cool travel content for you from time to time. I just love being the Hildebrand family vlog. 
and having our family share useful information about travel destinations to your family. But most of all, I love the connections I've made with all of you guys out there along the way. So to answer the question that I started with, am I quitting YouTube? The answer is no. You're stuck with me for now. And I know there's at least five to ten of you out there that are really happy about that. <laughs> I do want to say things might look a little different here the first part of the year with less travel destination videos on the channel. I usually take the first part of the year to catch up on things I need to catch up on for the channel, like updating my welcome video that I haven't updated since 2022. Whoopsie! And doing things like making sweet new merch. I also have other video ideas I've been wanting to try out that I think you'll love. But with all the travel we had last year, I hadn't had time to dedicate to those type of videos. But I'm going to dedicate some time over the next few months to making some of those videos to see how it goes. Now these are going to be like bigger videos. They're going to take longer to research, shoot, and edit and script and remember I only do this on my spare time in the weekends and I love y'all but I'm not giving up an entire weekend just to shoot the project no matter how cool it is I know you get it but that also means there's likely not going to be like a full episode on a Wednesday there might just be like YouTube shorts one week for the Wednesday upload. And if there's only like a YouTube short that week, I'll probably do like a few shorts, like maybe a Monday, Wednesday, Friday or whatever. I'll try and do a shorts week. But anyway, that, w that way you'll have a little bit more of us while we work on other things. So at least in the short term, things might look a little different around here. But trust me, we do have some fun travel plans coming back up for the spring and the summer. So we'll be back on the road real soon. At this point, I realize that probably the only people still watching are those of you that really love us. I probably know most of you, but I just wanted to say personally, one-on-one -on -one here, because I don't say it enough, probably, that I really appreciate you guys, and I'm grateful for each one of you. It's been great getting to know you guys over the last six years, and you all are the reason we keep going. Thank you for being awesome to me and everyone here on the Hilda Brain Family Vlog. All right, on that note, I think we're going to go ahead and wrap things up. But... Make sure you hang out for just a little bit longer because we'll have some end cards with video suggestions and we'd love it if you'd watch another video. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe so you don't miss any upcoming videos. If you got something out of this video or you just want to help keep the show on the road, consider clicking that super thanks button down there. Anyway, choose to support the channel. We really appreciate it. Also, I'd love to know who made it this far in the video. I'm pretty sure I know, but we'll just test this out. If you did, say, I love the Hildebrand family vlog down there in the comments to let me know you made it this far to the video. All right, everyone. We'll catch you in the next video. Thanks a lot for watching. Peace and love.